Today, we're delving into the International Court of Justice, where five new jurists have recently been elected. The UN Security Council and General Assembly made their choices on November 9th. Let's explore who these legal heavyweights are and what their roles mean for international justice. Meet the elected jurists, Bogdan Lucian Arescu. First up, we have Arescu from Romania, bringing serious legal know-how to the ICJ. Hillary Charlesworth. Charlesworth, the Aussie powerhouse, has been re-elected, showing her ongoing dedication to international justice. Sarah Hull Cleveland. Representing the U.S., Cleveland adds her legal finesse to the ICJ bench. Juan Manuel Gomez Robledo Verduzco. Straight from Mexico, Verduzco brings his expertise, enriching the global perspectives within the ICJ. Dyer Tladi. And all the way from South Africa, Tladi adds to the diversity mix on the ICJ. They're gearing up for a solid nine-year term starting February 6, 2024. Election dynamics? Re-election and unsuccessful bids. Charlesworth's back in the game. But unfortunately, Kirill Gavorgian didn't make the cut. Nine candidates, five positions, nine contenders for five spots. It was a real nail-biter this year. Failed contenders, Chaloka Bayani, Ahmed Amin Fatala, and Antoine Kesiambe Mindua didn't snag enough votes. Voting process. Statute of the ICJ. Let's unpack how these judges get elected through secret balloting at the Security Council and the General Assembly. Conclusive results. The General Assembly nailed it in the first round, but the Security Council took five rounds to lock in their decisions. Election mechanics. Remember, absolute majority in both chambers is the name of the game. ICJ structure and continuity. Structure of the ICJ. The ICJ has 15 judges on nine-year terms. It's like the Avengers of international law. Continuity mechanism. They elect five judges every three years to keep things rolling. Representation and eligibility. Judges must be from 15 different countries, representing the legal melting pot of the world. Special elections. If a judge bails midterm, they've got a plan to fill that gap. In summary, five new judges, a lot of excitement, and the ICJ continuing its mission for international justice. This is a big deal. These judges are the real deal, ready to tackle the world's legal challenges. Stay in the loop for more global legal updates. And there you have it. The International Court of Justice just got a fresh injection of legal brilliance. From Romania to South Africa, these judges are primed and ready for action. If you enjoyed this legal roller coaster, hit the like button, share with your legal buddies, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into international affairs and legal matters. Until next time, keep it legal.